Hello everybody, today I'm gonna discuss how to use a very useful tool in your Java applications. This tool is called the MVC Generator. You can use this tool in building MVC design pattern application. You will be able to build your applications faster and easier. First of all, we are gonna quickly discuss what's the MVC Generator. MVC is a design pattern. It stands for Model View Controller. This design pattern enables software developers to uh, isolate their codes, their software codes, into three separate layers, the controller, the view, and the model. You can find tons of documentations and explanations of the MVC design pattern on the web. For example, this page is uh, the MVC design pattern page on the Wikipedia. As you might have noticed that there is a depiction of the uh, design pattern here. The design pattern consists of three layers, the view, the model, and the controller. Actually, the view is the presentation of the application. It can be a uh, swing uh, code, it can be a JSP code, it can be JSF code, according to the type of the application you're developing. The controller is the logic, the logic of, of your application, the actual logic of your application. Finally, the model is the data section of your application. The three layers are messaging each other in somewhat like a cycle of messaging. Isolating the code in this manner it makes the application much easier to maintain or update. That's all. We're not going to discuss uh, the details of the MVC design pattern. However, we're going to uh, head directly to the MVC generator. The MVC generator is supposed to generate much of the tedious code that you have to write by your hand in building this uh, very useful design pattern. Actually, much of the code, especially in the model layer, is uh, tedious, is repetitive, it uh, does not require any type of intelligence or smart coding. So, it was very useful to make a tool that will uh, rapidly generate this type of coding instead of writing it all by hand. Let's go to the home page of the MVC generator. It's MVC generator dot source forge dot net. You can also see the home page of the application on SourceForge. Actually, this will not be very useful uh, now. It's meant for the developers who are going to participate in this open source application. And actually, we are not talking about this right now. We are talking about how to use the MVC generator. So we can head directly to the downloads section. We have two versions, version 1.1, 1.2. Previous versions are not found on this site. I'm now working on Windows operating system, so I'm going to uh, download the Windows executable. Uh, if I, if you are using any other operating system, you have to download the uh, platform independent executable. So go directly to the Windows executable. And the download shall start now. Okay. For now, I'm going to uh, download this zip file to my desktop. Okay, so the download has been downloaded as you see, it's uh, less than 2 megabytes, it's very small actually. Here is the MVC generator, I extracted the zip file. Okay, uh, some notes that you have to remember. Uh, this application uh, is licensed under the LGPL uh, license, the Lesser General Public License. Uh, if you want to find what's the differences between version 1.2 and 1.1, you have to open the notes file using any text editor on your uh, machine. You can read me, you can find the version, uh, so on and so forth. This is not so important. Let's start the MVC generator directly. Actually, the MVC generator supports now two languages, Arabic and English. As my locale is Arabic, so it starts in Arabic. I will change it to English so that everyone can understand. Yes, now we are ready. Up to this point, the MVC generator is ready to deal with MySQL databases. Although it will not require any 
extra code to deal with any other type of uh, uh, databases it's uh, not yet tested against any other type of database it supports only mysql it loads only the mysql driver so uh, let's take a look about any mysql schema you have on your pc so we are going to open the mysql administration tool Here it is. Okay. Open your catalog. These are the schemas I have. Let's take a look uh, at the medical DB, for example. As you might see, the medical DB contains nine tables. These tables uh, vary in their size. For example, let's take a look at the drugs table. This table has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It has seven columns, only seven columns. It's a moderate or even small table. On the other hand, we have very large table. Let's take a look at the examinations table. Yes. As you might notice, we have a very long list of columns actually it has more than 80 columns uh, the meaning of these columns is not uh, what uh, what's important right now actually this this whole schema deals with neurological medical center this is a, an examination sheet of a single patient this table will contain all the examinations of all the patients uh, all the examinations have about 80 80 values more than 80 values which necessitates building table of more than 80 columns actually building a model for a table of this size is very tedious let's see the same table in tabular form okay here's the ID of the examination uh, the general appearance the pulse the pulse notes is the low blood pressure and the high blood pressure yes um, and so on and so forth as I told you there are more than 80 columns in this table Finally, we have the uh, complaint ID. As you might have noticed, this is a very large table. Uh, building the model code for this type of tables is really tedious. It's very hard. Um, on the other hand, it, uh, it needs no intelligence. It needs no smart coding. Let's see how can the MVC generator deal with this type of tables, with this type of large tables. Okay.